That's why I say the Most High Lord actually means Baal, another entity, another Elohim. Well, an Elohim. So I make make I make a distinction between Elohim and Elohim because Elohim distinguishes the Most High in my eyes, and it does all the way around. But you, you gotta come out of your own understanding. If you don't know, the text says you gotta prove all things. And if I, I hear a brother or sister that's showing us preaching the, and teaching the truth and sharing a testimony on top of it, one that I can see with my own bar, my eyes, then I got to pay attention and start asking some questions. Well, maybe I don't know it all. Hmm. Maybe I'm not Mr. Perfect. Hmm. Uh-oh. Maybe I'm not Mr. Provider. Maybe I was provided some false information. Maybe the holy text was play with Hasatan is the Elohim of, the Elohim of this world right yeah so you think he's gonna give you the whole truth nothing but the truth all the truth nothing but the truth so help him <laughs> it goes on to say so in all my ways acknowledge him like I said you you acknowledge that you don't know it all you acknowledge that Papa don't have this answer and he shall direct your path Mr. Perfect and in Psalms 37 and 7, give yourself to the Most High. Trust in him and he will help you. He will make your righteousness shine like the noonday sun. Hallelujah. You come out looking good every time. Pure, clean, fresh, fresh. Be patient and wait for the Most High to act. Uh-oh. Be patient and wait for the Most High to act. Don't be worried about those who prosper or those who succeed in their own evil plans. Uh-oh. And nine times out of ten, that's our problem, family. And we do have a word for today. I thought we would save it for last because I wanted to get this idea out so that it would resonate with you. <laughs> and that's our word for today. To produce a deep, clear sound to produce a deep, clear sound, period. To be received or understood. That's what I pray we, we have received or understanding today. That the Most High is perfect and we're not. And that we can always trust on Him when we go to Him with a um, humble heart. Mm, that came on me kind of heavy there. We don't know it all, family. And a lot of us need to do our homework and quit cussing the Most High. By calling him names that we was given by our enemy. Mm-mm-mm. Well, Satan is the um, leader of the Christian church. I say it out loud and there it is. He's the leader of the wide gate. And the broad way. And that's what Christianity is. Nowhere in our book did it say we called ourselves Christians. Notice I said in our books, the Hebrews book. They took our book and rewrote it and then gave it back to us in the form of a slave Bible. But they didn't just rewrite it for us. Uh-oh. They rewrote, rewrote it for everybody. So they can have the same effect on everybody. Just like every form of religion was created by the Catholic Church. But we don't want the truth. We'll say, I can't handle it. <laughs> That's too much for me. Tell me the lie. And I saw a brother come on um, the other day. And he said, us as, as um, color folks, we love the lie. Tell us a lie. We don't want the truth. I'd rather hear a lie and be happy in the lie than to be challenged by the truth. Mm-mm-mm. What a hot mess. And I, I, I see it every day. I used to be the same. Until the most high wouldn't let me hit that snooze button. <laughs> I kept trying to hit that snooze button over and over. He's like, nope, get up. It's time to wake up, buddy. I need you to wake up so you can help me wake up these other ignorant folk like you. <laughs> Who sold out the house of time. Who would, um... So I'd rather have Jesus than, than eternal life. 
because I was sold. I'm not going to ever, ever turn back on um, Jesus or, or the Christian church. No, I love Jesus too much. I was programmed. And there's nothing wrong with admitting it, but you got to come up out of it and be separate and understand who really run this world. And we see it now. Just like all us foolish people planning on going out here and voting. <laughs> voting for who? The same system, either way. They already have a plan. And what is the plan? Big company, whatever they say do, the, where the money is, corporations. And we fall right for it every year. But this is it. This is it now. This is the last leg that this evil Babylonian system has to stand on. And it's to no avail. See, they're hoping they can get enough of us Hebrews to sign up for another term of their rule. That's all it is. Another term of their rule. We're agreeing with it. We're saying, okay, we'll 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 let you you rule over us again. And like we said, it's the same two branches of the same tree. And we're saying we choose to eat your fruit. We choose to let you um, continue to fund the police departments that's out here killing us. We'll abide by it. And we'll, um, we'll just get out in the street and um, do a little uh, complaining, but we won't make no trouble. The, the, the good book says, follow the government, pray for your leaders. Yeah, pray for their downfall, pray that they bump their head. <laughs> pray that they bump their head, fall and bump their head so hard or somebody throw something at them and bump their head. Like somebody threw at Trump the other day, or last month. But um, we gotta be wise out here and understand who we really dealing with. A lot of folks are getting it. A whole lot of folks are waking up and saying, oh, okay, I see now that this, this game is rigged. Just like every other game is rigged. You think Hasatan is gonna play fair? <laughs> Just because you wake up, he gonna play fair? No, you gotta hit him in the head harder. What did the Most High say? See, that's where the power is, family, what the Most High says every day. Get back on your power source. Get hooked back up to the power source and detach yourself from these lying fools that's on the, on the way to hell themselves, thinking things are gonna go back to normal. <laughs> the Most High wouldn't allow it. He would not allow it. He's like, nah, I got y'all out, out of that system. Now I want you to stay out of it. But a lot of us trying to um, dive head first into it or belly flop into it. <laughs> Hard head, keep thinking these fools gonna um, do you justice. They don't care about you. And yeah, I keep saying fools because the most I said he's gonna turn us over to a foolish nation. And that's what we, we're experiencing. A foolish nation. Who they been getting away with it because we ain't had no choice. And that's why I heard a young lady say the other day, she was like, um, our forefathers and ancestors, they had no choice, but we do. Because they was in slavery. And if they tried to jump up, they would get cracked in the head or hung. So they had to sit there for a minute and keep praying. From generation to genera generation, praying that the most high would fall on their enemies. Snatch Uncle Jim Crow up and give him some of what he's been giving it us. But now nah, that our people today praying that um, the Most High will bless him, that he will make good sound decisions. <laughs> our people are so ignorant, family. Mm. And trust me, I've been there, I ain't, I ain't, I ain't cussing too hard. Because I was there too. I say, don't vote. 